to the top 10 Halloween movies Halloween party. Woohoo! Ah. Ah. Sorry about that. Uh, you'll be alright. Yeah. We'll see what happens at the next full moon. Sorry. Sorry. Anyway, welcome back to the video shed. We've got a really great edition for you today. We're going to be talking to stand-up comedian and author Nick Coppin about John Landis's 1981 comedy horror classic, An American Wealth in London. It's the top 10 Halloween movies, Halloween party. It's the top 10 Halloween movies, Halloween party. <laughs> How you doing, Wolfie? I'm oh, fine. How's it all going with you? Good, not too bad, not too bad at all. So can you actually hear bit, him when he speaks? Well, yeah, I can hear that. It's a bit of a bit growly, but... <laughs> yeah. Very good, very good, fantastic. Oh. You can tell you're a comedian. Well, it's people have their doubts. Yeah. So, yeah, fantastic. go for it. Yeah, basically, well, this is the video shared anyway, and we like just... We Welcome, so, Welcome yeah, to the video shared. We don't have so much review films, we just sort of blather on about them a little bit. And then bring it on YouTube. Um, so obviously today we're going to do American Wealth in London, which is like, that's a bit of a big favour of yours, is it not? What is it that you love about it so much? Well, I mean, for me, it's just pretty much, I don't know, it's, it's, it's darn perfect, I think, as a movie. <laughs> I mean, you know, it is a, it's is—it's got that, that you know, that obviously the great mix of comedy and horror and, it, you know, all just the perfect balance of that. Um, you know, because I first, I think I first saw it when I was like a, 11 years old. So I think it came out in 81, didn't it? I think, I, 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 you know, it scared the shit out of me, to be honest with you, yeah. um, at that age. Because uh, at that age, I used to be in, um, used to go camping with the, with the scouts. And we used to do like stuff in the woods at night. And I'd always be imagining werewolves around and stuff. I don't know how I survived through the night. Um, and sometimes I'd, when I was coming back from scouts or late at night from being out with mates, I'd have to take my bike around the back up an alleyway and put in the shed. And I'd always imagine there was like a werewolf at the end of the alleyway, a bit like at the end of the movie. And I'd be like cacking myself, like putting the bike away. I couldn't wait to get in the house. But I got through it. Yeah. Uh, and then as an adult now, I fully appreciate what a great movie it is. Yeah. I mean, I think in terms of like comedy horror, I think it's about as good as there is really. And I can't think of another film that, because normally with comedy horror, either the comedies too funny for it to be scary or the horrors too scary for it to be funny but american yeah, in london a bit like wolfie there it's kind of like scary yeah. and funny at the same time <laughs> exactly yeah it's even scary when he takes it off <laughs> yeah, yeah leave it on yeah. leave it on i don't need to, i don't need to be traumatized in my my adulthood as well by that by the the real face <laughs> but yeah i mean yeah it's great i mean that mixture of comedy and horror it's just it is perfect i mean it's yeah. not because the thing it's like the, the thing about the, the horror uh, obviously, it is quite you know the, the horror aspect with the, the you know the, the the state of the art special effects at the time, which still hold up. They certainly the do. Way. Um, but when they mix it with with the the, the, the dark humour and the comedy, they don't they don't push the comedy too much because even like proper comedy movies, they push the comedy too hard sometimes, don't they? Yeah. But it, it's sort of like they, it's it's very subtle and it's there, and sometimes you go, is that meant to be funny or is yeah. it meant to be scary? And it's like, you just can't tell a lot of the time. I remember when I first watched it, I was about 11 or 12, like similar sort of age. And I was at home watching it by myself. And I knew John Landis as, you know, oh, Animal House and this sort of stuff. So I started watching the film and it was, you know, funny. And Jack and David's dialogue was, was funny and this sort of stuff. And they went to the pub and then they're on the moors. And suddenly more and more, I'm thinking, why am I frightened? Isn't this supposed to be like a, you know, a sort of comedy John Landis movie and stuff. And then when the werewolf actually attacked Jack and tears him to pieces, like the intensity of it, I was absolutely yeah. terrified, terrified. And the sound effects. Of it Still watched it though. Like. The intensity <laughs> of the attack. <laughs> uh, oh, Dimmy. Have you got a particular, <laughs> have you got a particular scene in the film that you like? Like a particular well, moment? Apart from Jimmy, you've got a shower is. scene, of course. Oh, the, the, shower, the Jenny Agatha shower scene, of course. I mean, you know, every, every uh, boy's uh, wet dream. Uh, but, uh, um, and then they go out into the, onto the moors, and it's just like, you're just kind of there with them, aren't they? It's like, and, and the, the, the werewolves howl, because it's not like a, a, it's like a proper, like, guttural, growly, 
and it's like so, and it's like and it's far away, then it's close, and yeah. it's like yeah. the, like you said, the intensity of the whole situation, the acting, and then when he finally gets attacked, it's like it's just like I don't think that 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 could be made any better. No, which is yeah. why I'll be really worried about a remake. Oh well, have you seen American Wealth in Paris, the sequel? No. I actively tried to avoid it, maybe, and and I and I saw it because I've I've heard it wasn't great, yeah. and then I, I saw I'd know about I don't know a year or two ago, and it was like it was like you could have not made this. It's like you intentionally went out of your way to make it bad. It yeah. is so awful, appalling, and I can't believe they actually did it. Yeah, just even as a movie in general, I just thought it was absolutely awful. Because uh, here's the thing, they're talking about a reboot or a remake, aren't they? Which I kind of would like to see, but I'm scared of them making it because they just ruin the legacy. Yeah. But I would tell you what I would rather. Why don't, why don't they make a prequel? Because, like, like, what was going on in yeah, East Prosper? That's a good idea. Who, who was yeah. the werewolf that bit that attacked them anyway? Go that yeah. Way. Yeah, like that, because it's like, because when you break that down, I mean, I'm sure, you, you know, you, you, you maybe thought about it, but it's like, well, who was the guy? Like, you know, like, because it's never talked about who he was, because we see him lying there, don't we, after he's been shot. Yeah. And it's like, who is he? And then they can pretend it's an escaped lunatic. You kind of go, yeah, but there would be evidence of that. What, who escaped from a lunatic asylum? But also, why were they covering it up? So clearly, cover, everyone was covering it up. So they, why would they cover it up? Yeah, is they it? Do they, do they know him? There. Is he a friend? You that know, could be great. Uh, and <laughs> if he was a friend, people. why would people they then shoot better. him? Yeah, that, why would they shoot him to protect a couple of Americans? It's like, you know, it's like I'd, I'd be fascinated to know the story that was going on in East Proctor before the Americans turned up. That's what yeah. I want to see. That would be good. That see? would be good. An Italian werewolf in Yorkshire, something like that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> or a. Uh, a Yorkshire werewolf in Yorkshire. Yeah. <laughs> Not quite yeah in, the, in the pub, they've got the thing on the wall, haven't they, and all that stuff. It's yeah, never the really, They never yeah. really have a story behind it. Everyone yeah. loves a prequel as well. Oh, that'd be, that'd be great. Yeah, yeah, proper prequel. Because here's the thing, that sign, because that's a brutal sign, isn't it? That's a werewolf's head on a stick. I've seen that sign in a pub, the highest pub in England, actually. There's a pub on the... I was driving between gigs over the Pennines, and the guy that was driving the car ran out of petrol because he's an idiot. So we had to literally get a lift to this pub at the top of the Pennines. I can't remember what the pub was called. It wasn't the Slaughtered Lamb. But they had, like, a proper Slaughtered Lamb sign. I don't know if it was the official one from the movie, but it was pretty much the exact oh, wow. copy inside the pub. And I was like, that is so... I want to steal it, but, you know... Yeah, it was yeah, brilliant. Oh, oh. Um, I, I did, but oh, it's ages ago now, so I don't even know where. It's probably on some old phone that died because it was about ten years ago. Um, but yeah, I, I, I'm going to look it up just in case I have got the photo. But yeah, it was fantastic. Not breaking down, obviously, but that was one good thing to to come yeah, out. Yeah, yeah. Because obviously, as I'm sure you know, it wasn't that it wasn't filmed in in Northern England, was it? It was filmed in Wales. Wales, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, Crickadon or somewhere. That it's like it's not even a pub. It was like a cottage or something they turned to look like a pub and that and the, the the angel structure they sort of moved in and the actual interior of the pub was in uh it's a black swan pub i think in uh somewhere in surrey i think but yeah so it was actually uh really in wales where the werewolf attack happened i remember being quite disappointed when i found out they didn't film it in yorkshire because i'm from yorkshire so i was like that oh they filmed it around here when i found out it was wales i was oh bloody hell like even Wolfie doesn't approve, does he? Wolfie's not happy. <laughs> well, I am actually suffocating. Do you mind if I just break the... Uh, oh, I'm scared. This is like a, a reverse transformation, isn't it? Oh. <laughs> 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 oh, it's actually, it's a bit of an improvement. Yeah. <laughs> we'll, oh, we'll allow Jesus that. Christ. Yeah, it, it's getting you were hot cooking in, in there, weren't you? <laughs> yeah, honestly, that's killing me. <laughs> 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 it's really good. <laughs> Oh, and we'll, we'll probably watch this back afterwards and every time Ed speaks it will be yeah, it's, like, it's almost as bad as uh, as uh, Christopher Nolan's uh, Bane and Batman it's like, mm. oh yeah <laughs> you do a good Bane don't you no oh okay alright he done <laughs> he does <laughs> but yeah I mean there's so many great scenes I mean uh, even like you know obviously you know the, 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 the opening scenes and then when the doctor goes back up there, you know, I do wonder if he drove all the way up there just to speak to them. Um, yeah. Or he, ha he did happen to be in the area. Oh, he, yes, he started yes, interviewing and he wouldn't play chess there. with him, would he? It's like, 
Surely not, Mumble. That's impressive. No, sir. No, you're not. I wouldn't yeah. pack a game. You get your <laughs> miserable that scene off. Yeah, I love that, that scene. scene <laughs> off. Yeah, that was brilliant. That's good. Cool. He goes outside. It's him. The one who survived. He's in danger. He'll change. He'll pack <laughs> <it off. laughs> that <ain't> enough. <laughs> brilliant. Brian Glover. It's one of those movies for me that you can't fault it. You can't really go, well, where is it? Where's there a problem with this movie? No, there's not one bit that I look at it and go, hmm. No, it's, it's, it's just a great movie. I think it's definitely a five-star movie for me. When, yeah. are, you, when are you bored in that movie? There's not, never a point where you're bored. No. Is there? You just think, oh, God. no That's the that. thing. Yeah. I mean, it's great spot soundtrack on, it's as well. Yep, amazing. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. yeah. And well, we've got the opening credits when, you know, where it first opens up with the, with the, the, the hills of, well, Wales. Yeah. <laughs> not much here. Uh, yeah, the, the soundtrack's brilliant. No. Uh, yeah, it's not one bit, I don't think. Rick Bale wasn't in it enough. That's what I have to say. <laughs> but he was in it. Do you know, apparently, um, Aid Edmondson was meant to be in it as well, and John Landis, the director, had seen them doing a bit of comedy or something in a club, and he said to them both, oh, come and be in my film, and Aid Edmondson couldn't make it for whatever reason. Oh, but, what a bummer. Yeah, but Rick like The young up. ones meets the, meets the werewolf. Yeah. That's fantastic. When they've got the hamster in themselves, SPG. It's the werewolf. <laughs> <laughs> uh, get oh, SPG in there as well. He could be the first victim. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They could have got the whole, all of them in it. Alexis Sale, the whole lot. Oh, well. Yeah. i tell you what, though. What, whilst we've got you, uh, I'm just going to ask you about yourself, actually, before we run out of time. How's it all going with the, uh, with the stand-up comedy and whatever else yeah. you've got going on? And do you want to plug anything? Like, well, like a actually, recent book. That oh, yes, was very funny, book. by what? the way. I've got a book. Oh my <laughs> god! Have you read it? <laughs> it was but great. Yeah. Very funny and good cartoons. Yes, yeah, so I've been doing that. I, I produced uh, my own little comedy DVD recently as well because uh, a guy filmed uh, a, a set I did in Frankfurt in Germany, uh, and so I thought I might as well just put it on disc. So I'll send you that as well, Thomas. Oh, fantastic! <laughs> oh, thanks very much. Yeah, there you go. It's one of those things that you know, like you never watch. <laughs> oh no, 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 no! I, I read the book almost in one sitting. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but man. yeah, I mean, I'm doing that. And recently, I got um, there's a friend who I met at a gig. Um, who uh, there was a story that happened with her. She's a friend now. It was a gig up in Louth, uh, in Lincolnshire. And there was a bit of a weird thing that went on with her, her bloke, which I won't tell you the story now. But I'll put it in the next book. And also, I, I said I'll draw a caricature of her and her dog, and I was going to put it in the next book. But it's because she wanted me to do a caricature of her and her Great Dane. And she right. put that on a, a Great Dane Facebook forum. So I've had like about three people now saying, can you draw pictures of me and my Great Dane with me? So I've turned into this, I've, I've turned into this weird little sideline now. I've been yeah, spending the last career. week or two drawing <laughs> caricatures. <laughs> so, oh, there you go. So yeah, it's something to do that. during lockdown. Yeah, you know, that's sorry. what it does for a living. I'm a caricaturist, what? so I know exactly what you... Um... There you go. There Look you go. at that. Yeah. You see? I hope you draw them in your werewolf suit. Alan Partridge, not sure if oh. it shows up. Oh yeah, that's great, that's, Alan uh, Partridge. I haven't that one yet. <laughs> yeah, brilliant, excellent. So there you go, you see. So we've got something in common. We've got wolf, sort of wolfy outfit things, caricatures, brilliant. Well, creativity, if you're creative, you're creative in all, in all different fields, aren't you really? Bit of art, bit of comedy, bit of film, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah even, even there, makeup. Bit of makeup. Look at that, I mean, that is, that is art in itself. <laughs> It's so, what, you know, next full moon, that? mate. Next full moon, you'll change. Yeah, you'll change. Up, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Just in time for Halloween. Yeah, yeah, excellent. brilliant. So well, yeah, so what thank about you yourself? so much. Have you all thank been... you. Oh, sorry, carry on. No, I was just going to say, is that, you know, it's all been going well with you guys in the in the shed <laughs> and yeah. everything. You know, it's yeah. No one's called us a pair of right. wankers yet. Yeah, well, yeah, Not yeah. I can do it so if you far. want. I can call you wankers if you really want. Oh yeah, go on, please. You two are a pair of wankers. <laughs> Wolfy wankers. Wolfy wankers, that's what you are. Excellent. <laughs> what it says on your thing, Jay is a wanker. So oh, yeah. It looks like we're all wankers. <laughs> oh, God, is that what it says? Yeah. Oh, God. Jay yeah, is a wanker. That's need to explain it. Oh, oh God, that's really embarrassing. I forgot that was there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well. Oh, well. It's all Wait, comedy. Mate, yeah. <laughs> you know, we'll probably put that bit right at the start. You two are a pair of wankers. <laughs> yes, good. Yes, that's it. That's a good start. Get it out um, of the way. But yeah. <laughs> I look forward to seeing more of your uh, videos online. Yeah, yeah cheers. Man. I can't wait to see your next venture. Yeah. All right. Cheers. Thanks very much, Nick. Cheers, wankers. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. 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 Bye.